Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.3 Beta 7. It's a little bit of a surprise since Beta 6 came out on Monday, so it's only been about three or four days that it's been out, and I was going to do a follow-up video, but since 7 came out, we're doing this instead. So this one actually came in at about 470.8 megabytes. Let's take a look at the version number. The version is 14E5277A, and while this does not sound like a finalized version number, uh, some people have actually told me on Twitter that it may be coming out on Monday or Tuesday, and I asked them how they knew that, and they just said that they did and they couldn't say anything. So maybe it really is coming out on Monday or Tuesday, we don't know that for sure, but hopefully we'll have the final. Now beta 5 and 6 have been really stable and haven't had any issues for me whatsoever. I had really good battery life, especially on beta five and beta six was pretty good as well. Although maybe a little bit worse. It's hard to say. I didn't actually uh, take a look at the battery, but I didn't get through the day as with as much battery left at the end of the day with beta six as I did beta five, but it's hard to say for sure. Now I did have some lockups with beta six and maybe that's why they pushed beta seven so quickly. I might be using something. It could have been the apps, but when I'm using these, uh, my phone would just completely freeze. I couldn't even push the button to turn the screen off. It would freeze and then finally it would free itself up. It didn't reboot or respring or anything like that, but it did freeze up and lock up a couple times actually. Now, as far as the speed goes, benchmark wise, many of you have asked me to do this. So last time we took a look, this was the benchmark from beta six. We have 3446 single core. On beta seven, we have 3439 single core. And what I do is I close all the apps in the background when I run these, just to make sure they're pretty consistent between the two betas. As far as the multi-core go goes, we actually went down a little bit too. So 5730 to 5681, we went down a little bit also. So that isn't completely relevant since it's not the finalized version or we don't know that for sure. But either way, it's nice and fast and fluid. The little bit that I've been using beta seven, it feels nice and quick. Everything loads nice and quickly. All of my apps, I can go in and out of them really quick. I haven't had any issues whatsoever and everything's been nice and fast. Now, other than that, there's not much else. We'll just wait for the final. I'd be surprised if there was a beta eight though. So probably beta seven is the final, but we don't know that. And we'll have to take a look at the build number to see if they just keep this as the final or you'll actually have to update to it. So we're not really sure at this point, but follow me on Twitter. If you want to see all the latest updates, I'll let you know if you need to update anything like that. It's at Zolotech on Twitter. And also if you'd like to send me a wallpaper, you can do that there. This one was sent over by Cameron and Connor again. And many of you have sent me some really great wallpapers, but the issue I've been having is you're sending me low resolution versions. So when I put them on my background, they're actually really pixelated and things. So make sure you're sending me the highest resolution. And if you want to send the full one and Twitter does compress it sometimes, send it to Aaron at Zolotech.com and I'll probably get a better resolution one through that. People have sent me some really nice ones through my Facebook page and the same thing happens. It seems to compress, but I have gotten good ones through Twitter as well. So just make sure you're sending me the best one that you have. Other than that though, let me know if you found anything specific with this beta. I think that's pretty much it. And it's nice and quick. Now, Apple did not really specify any changes. The actual page that tells what's going on hasn't changed for two betas. They haven't really said anything new is there. So it's basically just bug fixes and under the hood fixes. Again, let me know if you found anything in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.